I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Um, really? 50 years? How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. Mm, don't A we all? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And we are back with more of the original Mass Effect. This is Hill, and we're here with Commander Shepard, Lieutenant Ashley Williams, and the Quarian Tally Zora Naraya. I think that's what her name currently is. Zora Naraya. Yeah, well, anyway. All right. We just defeated a huge Geth armature. Looks like a Colossus to me. I don't know if it was misnamed or what. Defeated that in a horde of uh, Geth soldiers, whatever you want to call those things. They're all different types of Geth. But anyway, we're here looking for Liara Tassoni, and it's time for us to enter the structure. a little upgrading with the shields on everyone's armor. Hopefully this will make a difference. Especially for my poor character that, uh, uh oh. I see movement up ahead. Yeah, I've got another bar of shields. Look how weak everybody is. Wait, I think I have unity now. Does that help them too? Yes. Okay. certainly trigger happy. Tally, can you do something about those shields? Got him. Alright. Uh-uh. Uh. More? Let's see. I'm going to use shield boost this time. Well, except it doesn't work. throw you. All right, he's down. All clear, Commander. All right, good work, people. Tally, what have you got? You need, um... Hold on. You should probably be carrying a pistol, because I don't know if you have any training. And anything else. At least I haven't given you any. Right. Careful of these fusion containment it cells. Looks like this cavern formed around the ruin after it was built. All right, ladies, let's go. So we've got Tally with us because of her electronics and decryption, hacking, since we are in the lair of Geth. And hopefully Ashley, our tank in quotes, can uh, you know, like take some of this fire while Shepard with his biotics can disable and maim the enemy. Uh oh. Tally. Okay, that did hit them. It's a little warp. Got them. Protheans built to last. Looks like a lava flow port in here. 
All right, good work, people. Good work. All right, Tally, don't don't be a straggler. Let's go. What do they call it? Dawdling? No, dawdling. Whoa, whoa. Right, well, I guess this is as far down as we're going to go. Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? Did you all hear something? there. I'm trapped. I need help. <laughs> we are at Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up. So I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side! I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. There's some kind of repulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. <laughs> well, he's still a little bit cold-hearted at the moment this strange alien woman. You shouldn't have been messing with technology you don't understand. I wasn't going to let the Geth capture me. Besides, I know how it works. Mostly. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Okay, well, thank you. We'll see what we can do. That must take a lot of energy, though. Look at that. That spear, and then... Whatever else we're seeing. The, the rippling distortion waves. Okay, let's go. We'll take some sabotage. And I'll throw in some warp. Alright, there's more. Or maybe there's not. I think we got them. All clear. Alright, let's see if there are any containers. Aside from... The explosive ones. Oh, look at this. Weapons locker.
got it. All right, we have an Avenger 2, a Banshee 3, and improved sighting. Okay, we'll take that all for right now. Guess we can put our weapons away. It's easier to move without having the gun out. I don't think we can climb up here, and there's no jumping in Mass Effect. Um, wait, was there something here? Yes. Storage locker. Got it. Recoil damper and a combat sensor. I think we have enough uh, combat sensors, but let's continue on. I think that's everything. Well, did we go? Alright, now that's everything. Alright, now we have to use this mining laser. This might take me a few minutes here. Now, um, just so that you know, there is a cheat here or an exploit. Um, I'm not going to do it, but apparently when you do this code mashing, you can save and then reload the game and you'll keep gaining experience. Um, you can look it up online. I'm not going to try to cheat in this method. But just to let you know, there is an exploit here at this point. Uh, using the mining laser so you could look that up if you did want to exploit the game and get quite a bit of um, experience. It does take some time though to do it. I have done it before I, I will, on the Xbox 360. Okay, everybody here? Alright, here we go. Way. I've never tried this before. Look at this. All right, these um, stations you can't control. All right, so let's uh, get Liara. <coughs> Probably need to do. Oh, can't save. Of course not. Oh, 
How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Siren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Prothean expert. Mm. The conduit? But I don't know... Somebody's being a little catty today. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. Alright, here we go. I was hoping to save because there is a fight coming up. Let's just hope I survive it. with some sabotage over here, Tally. Uh, go ahead with overkill, Ashley. Alright, one down. Two down. Where's that probe? Got him. Alright, where are we with the Krogan? Alright, Tally. Alright, here comes the Krogan. What have you got for me? How about damping? And then I'll use warp. Another tip, damping prevents Krogans from regenerating. Escape. 
Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Um, really? 50 years? How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. Mm, don't a we all? A century may seem like a long time <laughs> to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Hmm. You know, I want to play him as a renegade, but some of these things are just too rude. Shut up and I'll tell you, I, I can't. I, I like Liara. And she's probably going to be his love interest, so he's going to be a little softer on her. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? Alright, now maybe he can be a little stern. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. Hmm, <laughs> what good are you? Oh, come on. He can't say that. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture. 
but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Oh, might as well. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the normal... I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Hmm. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? We almost died in there. The Geth were everywhere. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Okay. Is this um, oh, something I can get some experience for? Yes, 33 experience points. All right, well, that brings all of our crew together. We now have Liara added uh, to the crew. And um, she is going to be a pivotal role in not only this game, but the remaining other two Mass Effect games. All right, well... I'm going to end the recording here, and when we come back, I'm not sure where we're going, but I'm sure it's going to be exciting. All right. Thank you all for watching. This is Hill, and I'm out.